Good morning, it's Thursday, May 21st, 2009. I'm Jilly Bedanes, and this is the Morning Briefing, a rundown of the stories we're following here on WashingtonTimes.com. Congress dealt the White House a major blow yesterday, holding up plans for one of Mr. Obama's first promises as president to close Guantanamo Bay within a year. Lawmakers, including top Democrats, voted against giving the president money to close the prison. Many members were concerned about the possibility of bringing detainees to prisons inside the United States. Iran's successful test of a nuclear missile yesterday could push forward debate on putting U.S. missile defense in Europe. Experts tell the Washington Times this was the first time Iran has been successful with launching a missile with the ability to hit a target as far as 1,500 miles away. Russia has been the biggest opponent of missile defense in Europe, and some say Iran's missile test helps the U.S. in making the case of its necessity to Moscow. As Congress prepares to impose new limits on greenhouse gas emissions, the Energy Department reported that carbon dioxide emissions from fossil fuels actually fell by the largest amount in 19 years last year. But experts tell The Washington Times it's related to the decline in the economy and last year's record high oil prices. And they predict though emissions might remain stable for now, they will likely rebound with the economy. And a big surprise on the American Idol finale last night with underdog Chris Allen stealing the show and winning over America. Over 88 million Americans cast their vote, and Allen edged out Adam Lampert by only 1 million votes. Well, that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com for these stories and your continuous news updates.